Can we have this? Is the train leaving soon? Yeah. Just take a bunch of these and a bunch of these and I'll give them a whole bunch of money. Yeah, I get up. in Madagascar's capital and eating Zebu tacos. No joke, that's ridiculous. Then heading south, cutting through the central highlands and participating in a village goose feast. They have to cut it in a lot of small pieces because they have a huge family. Everybody gets a piece. It's now time to head to the coast. Uncovering the net, but inside you see tons of these fish. But we are trading in our car for the local train. A train that goes from the city of Fjallarvatsoa to Manakara, slogging across 100 miles of track. A train that this Swiss trip advisor reviewer calls the worst experience in her life and a total nightmare. <coughs> the French colonized Madagascar from 1896 all the way to 1960. Their influence can still be seen in architecture, food, and these trains, most of which have been shut down, but some, the one we're taking today, still makes the long journey to Manakara, a journey that in theory should take 12 hours. For like 160 kilometers, we have to do it at least 12 hour, but it can be 18 hour, it can be 24 hour. This scenic train ride is not for the faint of heart, and it seems a few tourists have accidentally stumbled upon what the locals call real fucking life. If you want to stay alive during this ride, then those are the food that you can see all along the way. Today, we're skipping first class, riding with the locals, and immersing ourselves in Malagasy train life. I really love this one. I could eat like a hundred of these. We're going to see how folks fuel up along the way. <laughs> From the train station breakfast scene. Oh, thank you, sir. I'll I'll pay extra. To the genius woman who set up shop right across from the train's final destination, where hordes of hungry arrivals pile into a restaurant. That is, if the train shows up at all. So pack a lunch and jump aboard. Today we're taking on Madagascar's infamous Manakara bound trip. <laughs> Fianarvatsoa train station. Train departing in 30 minutes or maybe later. No one knows for sure. There's not food on the train? Along the way, of course, there is some uh, local people who try to sell some things, but everybody is getting ready from here to buy some bread and cake and all of those things because, as I say, you never know we'll be there or not. We'll see. All right, well, let's find out. Food. You're gonna need it if you expect to survive this unpredictable journey. So why not start here? This is uh, like typical breakfast, to really to have your stomach full. We possibly have 16 to 18 to 24 hours in front of us. Yep. So we need to be really full. Which, which, is this my camera? This one? Oh, okay, this is one. We need to get really full. Okay, good. Baguette bread is taken away to snack on during the journey, but this rice porridge is ready to eat now. And it's exactly the hearty breakfast I'm looking for. It's like a rice porridge. What is this part? A meatball. I've been in Madagascar for four days now and I haven't had any balls. And my fans are gonna be very disappointed. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> oh, you do? Okay, cool. I didn't, I didn't know if you could relate to that. I'm gonna just try the meatball to begin with. Is this made with zebu? Yeah, this is made with the zebu meat. All right, let's try it out. Mmm. The ginger makes the texture kind of crumbly. Nice big bite of rice. There's some ginger in there, garlic, some green leaves. Mmm. It's good. It's really oily. When they are cooking uh, the rice, they add some uh, bit of oil as well on it. It's much more filling than you would think, and I think it's because of some of the heavy oil in there. Like when I eat Indian food, and I eat a little bit, but I get so full. Oh, is that us? Yeah, they are calling right. us. Bellies are full. Let's go. We got to get on the train. You guys should come too, for sure. And I said, who, 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 what would you This is our first stop. The train just stopped. We're grabbing some more food. Uh, hello, sir. Hello, man. Are you here every day selling this? Uh, he's uh, here every day. Every day. Uh, 
So this is how it works. Some set up food at tables, but the real hustlers deliver straight through the window. You never really know when the train will take off again, so hanging out inside is not such a bad idea. Coffee, porridge, fried bread, corn, fried chicken, even uncooked fish. I'm not sure who's buying that, but someone must be. So what do you got here? This is like a name, like a vegetable and meat, and this is just like potato. Fried potato? Yeah. Can we have this? Is the train leaving soon? Yeah. Oh, can we get this, please? How many? Just take a bunch of these and a bunch of these, and I'll give them a bunch of money. Oh, sh they're boarding the train. Okay. What is the total price? 5,000. Okay, you can just have this. Let's jump back on, the train's about to go. Hey, look at these snacks we got. You got some gravy. We just barely made it on the train. Which one does this gravy go with? Fried potato with some flowers. Mmm, that smells good. I mean, it's still, it's it was fried earlier. Sop it up, a little bit of gravy. Cheers. Very nice. Coffee. It's a little bumpy, man. You all right? You gotta be careful when you're eating. Don't choke or anything. It just tastes like fried mashed potatoes and then some kind of country gravy. If you want to stay alive during this ride, then those are the food that you can see all along the way. All right, let's grab this one. You call this nem? Yes. So it's basically a little spring roll. It's better than uh, you expect to. Mm, this is good train food. Just simple, fried, salty, oily. A little piece of meat and a lot of onions inside. Do you guys want any? You can just take it. Oh, you can take the whole thing. That's fine too. I kind of regret that because it was so it was so good. I meant to give him like a couple and then I just gave him the whole thing. I want to ask more questions about Madagascar. First of all, Madagascar is just a huge mix. It's a huge diversity of people. Let's say every time you travel like 100 kilometers, it's always change. Sometimes I feel like I'm in a new country every 100 kilometers. New people, new culture, different way of dressing, different looking houses. It's really remarkable. We are going next to the sea, and of course it's much more hotter and people will look different on way of living as well. After all that train riding, we finally made it here, Sahambavi. Now you might be wondering, why didn't we take the train all the way to Manakara? But did you not hear the lady from TripAdvisor? Also, going by car, we can make it in about three to four hours. But first, snacks. The train left, so everyone was packing up, and we're like, no, we still want to eat. It's yogurt. just a, it's a go-gurt. Chilled yogurt in plastic. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got it. Mm. Oh, that's good. It's like sweet milk. It doesn't even taste like yogurt. It tastes like milk with sugar in it. Next up, crocodile bullets. Grated cassava root, shaped and fried until golden crispy. Fried cassava, and it breaks apart very nicely. Cassava. Mmm. That's yummy. Thick texture, fun to chew on. I like that. These are crocodile killing bullets. That's an... <laughs> Put it on the side. It's just... <laughs> I am having a blast with a beat. I am ripping it. Old school with some new heat like my timber. Joel and I make it to Manakara train station just after 5 p.m. And still no sign of the train. Right across from the train station, there is this restaurant here. It's been here for 23 years with the intention of catching people as they come off the train. The goal of this uh, restaurant is like to bring in up all this type of food that people might have in a different city and bring it to this place. This place is called Simanavaka. Simanavaka, which means like uh, no discrimination. So everybody is to welcome here. That's no joke. They even welcomed me into their kitchen. Boom, we're in the kitchen and look, this is one of their famous appet... Mm, snacks? What do you call it? This snack appetizer hits the spot. Stuffed in fried green chilies covered in a thick batter. Right here, she's about to put in the first one. After frying for a few minutes, they're ready. This is mainly like a snack in the evening. It looks yeah. perfect. Should we try it out? Mmm. Oh, good. I love that. It's a green chili, but you know, it's not spicy. You just get the flavor of the chili. And then a little bit of zebu meat inside, a little bit of onion flavor. Mmm. I like it. I'm eating the whole thing. I can't handle it. Let's cheers to a successful train ride, man. Ding. Pasa la mano. Damn it. 9 p.m. and still no train. The restaurant is empty, but the table is full. Zebu meat, shrimpies and coconut sauce, and freshwater eel. The shrimps is the fix that we don't really see that much. So you I'm miss it? Yes. Oh. To make it a bit. 
Mmm, that's legit delicious. So over here there's zebu. Now for you, does zebu taste just like cow? Zebu. Cattle originating in East Africa. They're not cows, they don't taste like beef. In fact, the taste is almost unexplainable. It's hard for me to express how the zebu tastes actually. Oh yeah, because you yeah. feel such an emotional connection to the zebu? Maybe. To me, zebu tastes like goat. Zebu tastes like zebu. Yeah. Right, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> this video is about the food, but really it's good. really not about the food. Malagasy people face their own unique set of daily challenges. Running a restaurant where some days the guests never show up. Earning your own way from an unreasonably young age. Finding an affordable way to move between cities. Making money, raising kids, staying afloat until tomorrow. <laughs> Joel, thank you so much for this amazing experience. I want to give a huge shout out to Ramar Tour for putting this whole itinerary together for us. Navigating Madagascar would have been so much more difficult. I mean, we got to make the most of our time and see so many amazing things and have so many great experiences because of Ramar Tour while we were here in Madagascar. Also for you guys, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing tours from north to south in all major cities, including Hanoi, Nha Trang, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon. You can experience food tours, adventure tours, and more. To learn more about One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. A Peace. That's pretty good. I think you're coming in uh, a little sooner next time. <laughs>